Part of anything important is making commitments. And now is the time that we are invited to make commitments together to support the ministry in 2015. Our commitments to the Mission Fund provide the ongoing support to our day-to-day -day ministry of welcoming, worshiping, teaching, and serving here in the congregation, throughout the community, and touching lives around the globe. Well, 28 years ago, we were living in Ogden, Utah. We'd been married 12 years, both had careers, um, active in our church, in a smaller church. And we were expecting our first child, and we made the decision that I would stay home at that point, which was quite dramatic. <laughs> so um, we did that, and at the time, our church was undergoing a capital campaign. My husband came home one night from a meeting at church and said that he thought we should give $100 a month for three years to this capital campaign. And at that point in our life, our income had just fallen in half. We had a brand new baby. <laughs> I do the books. I was like, I don't know that we can do this. I was really thinking $100 a month was maybe further than we could stretch, but we talked about it and prayed about it, and we decided that that's what we wanted to do. So we went ahead and made that commitment. We ended up moving to Aberdeen right after that, so we never were even there for groundbreaking. We never saw the project finished, but it changed how we thought about giving because I just felt that that was important in our faith building. And since that time, we've been involved in another capital campaign before we came here and stretched even further. And I just felt like, you know, scripture tells us that where your treasure is, your heart will follow. And I think maybe that a lot of us live the other way around. You know, where our heart is, we put our money. And we just found that by putting our treasure out there first, that your heart really did follow. And we grew in our faith. I don't think that $3,600 made a huge difference in that capital campaign, but it made a huge difference in our lives. The people of the Bible were rooted in an agricultural situation. And in that situation, they practiced first fruits giving. When they would harvest, they would give off the top some of the first fruit of their harvest to God. Give it to God and give it to God's work. And so too, we're invited to do the same to practice first fruits giving in our lives. That's the whole secret, is to do it first. And then whatever you have left over, He seems to provide. It comes from somewhere. Not always the place you expect it, but it always comes. It, it takes a lot to run a, a congregation and a ministry this large. And I, I think people donate without fully understanding how much they are supporting. We have an excellent staff that do a great job here but they also need a lot of help from a lot of individuals. Oh, Bethlehem needs money in a lot of ways. Um, Off-site, Bethlehem needs money for the work that we do outside of this building, but also they need the money and the education of our children and, and adults that come into the church. Um, there's money needed just to keep the building open and running. Well, I kind of go back to the story of the widow's mite in scripture where it talks about how she had nothing to give and she gave it all. I think it's easy sometimes to look at people who do have more resources and, and they give willingly and generously and that's wonderful. But I think that we all can give. We don't have to give big dollar amounts. The impact can be the same, I think, because if it transforms you and it transforms your heart, then you're more involved in the church and more things can happen. All together, we can do great things at Bethlehem. Here at Bethlehem, we often say, I see the image of God in you. And I see the image of God in you, the image of our giving and generous God. And it's a delight to see your generosity flourish and bless others as you share from the first fruits of what God has entrusted to you, that together we might be a blessing to others.